welcome to VTeach. In this video, I am going to discuss about the time average of a random process. So, time average is different from the statistical average for a random process. Usually, the statistical average that is expected value of x is defined for a random variable. Time average means since the random process involves the time functions, the time average involves time average is used for the random process. It means the for a sample function, the time average is represented as a of x of t. E is the statistical average and a is a time average. So, time average of a sample function is defined as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2t integral minus t to t x of t dt. So, that means sample function is considered in a in interval minus t to t and it is extended in a limit up to minus infinity and is divided by the whole interval 1 by 2t. This gives the average time average of the sample function. So, similar to the time average, so the time autocorrelation function means r xx of t comma t plus tau is the statistical autocorrelation function. Similar to is the statistical autocorrelation function for a sample function x of t, we can define the time autocorrelation function r x x of tau which is the time average of x of t into x of t plus tau. Just in place of statistical expect average that is expectation, here we use the time average a. a of x of t into x of t plus tau which is limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t minus t 2 t x of t into x of t plus tau. So, that means there are two ways we can find out the average. One is the statistical average for a random process. So, which is find out by defining the random variables at different time instants. That is x is x1 is x of t1 and x2 is x of t2 and so on like that. For n random variables defined on a random process at a different time instants, so we can find the statistical average for the random process. But it is defined as the orders random process. So, in the other way to find the average is the time average, time average for a sample function. For the overall sample function, we can find out the time average. Similar to the statistical autocorrelation function, we can find the time autocorrelation function as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t integral minus t to t x of t into x of t plus tau d tau. Now, we will discuss a concept called ergodic random process. This is another kind of random process. So, which is mostly theoretically we can prove the ergodicity for a random process, but practicality of this ergodicity is very difficult. So, for any sample function x of t of a random process, which is where we define the random process x of t is a group or n symbol of n number of sample functions, consider a sim one sample function x of t of a random process. If we find the time average that is a of x of t the sample function, time average of the sample function it is obviously it becomes a, a constant. So, similarly if we find the time autocorrelation function, so time autocorrelation since there is a limit t tending to infinity and 1 by 2 t integral is there. So, this also the time autocorrelation function also a constant. That means if for a sample function if we define the mean value that is time average particularly the time average a of x of t or the time autocorrelation function. So, both will be the constants time constants sorry both are constants. So, if we consider all the sample functions all the sample functions of a random process every sample function yields a constant yields a constant if we find time average of the sample function as well as autocorrelation function, time autocorrelation function also gives a constant. That means, if we consider time averages for all the sample functions, these are a set of constants. That means, nothing but a random variable. That means, if we consider a simple function, a single sample function, time average is constant. And if we consider all the sample functions, then it becomes a random variable because it is a set of real numbers. The same thing holds for the time autocorrelation function also. So, if we consider all the sample functions and if we calculate the time autocorrelation function for all the sample function, that is also a random variable. Now, if we find the expectation for such a random variable, that means expectation of time averages of the sample functions. 
So we, since the time averages are constants, its expected value is also a constant. Similarly, the expected value of time autocorrelation function. So we can say this is a statistical autocorrelation function. And if this satisfies, that means if these two random variables, that means x bar, nothing but the time average of a sample function and time autocorrelation function, both are having the zero variances. That means there is no variation. That means there is no change in the values of the x bar and time autocorrelation function with respect to the sample function. That means if there are n sample functions and if we find the time average for all the n sample functions where n is equals to 1 to n, this becomes a random variable. Assume this is x bar. Similarly, if we find the time average of the autocorrelation function, time autocorrelation function, and this also becomes a random variable, let us say rxx of tau, a random variable. So, this is a random variable and this is also a random variable for n number of sample functions. If we find statistical average for this random variable, this is a constant. Similarly, the statistical average for time autocorrelation function values, this is also a constant. That means time auto statistical autocorrelation function. Then if these random variables are assumed to having the zero variances, then time average is equals to the statistical average. It means here expectation is there if there is a variance. That means different sample functions are having different probabilities of occurrence then it is possible to have some variance. Suppose if there is no variance, variance is 0, then time autocorrelation function is equals to the statistical autocorrelation function. Similarly, the time constant that is time average is equals to the statistical average. So, if these two conditions are satisfied for a, a random process, such a random process is called ergodic and these two conditions together are known as ergodic theorem. In a brief view we can say that for a random process if time average if we calculate the time average for all the sample functions or for any one sample function if we consider the time average and if time average is equals to its statistical average and time autocorrelation function is equals to the statistical autocorrelation function then such process is called ergodic random process and the sub theorems in ergodic process we can define as ergodic in mean and ergodic in correlation. That means if any random process satisfies only the first condition, that is for any sample function of the random process, if the time average is equals to the statistical average, then it is called ergodic in mean. The so such a random process is ergodic in mean. If any process satisfies only the second condition, that is for a sample function, if its time autocorrelation function is equals to the statistical autocorrelation function, such a process is called ergodic in correlation. Both the conditions are satisfied for a process, simply it is called the ergodic random process. So the same in the same way as stationarity is extended to the nth order, that means for n random variables defined on a random process, ergodicity can also be extended to the two random variables and n random variable case also. First, let us see for two random variable case. There are two processes x of t and y of t. x of t and y of t are said to be jointly wide sense stationary. That means so for any two process, two different process x of t and y of t. Now already we have seen the wide sense stationary for one process and two variables defined on the same process. One is x1 and another one is x2 which is x of t1 and x of t2 wide sense stationary we have proven that expected value of the process is constant and auto correlation function of the process or it is t1 comma t2 which is a function of time difference that means t2 minus t1 or tau so then x is called wide sense stationary random process so similarly for two different random process x of t and y of t each process has to satisfy these two conditions that means x of t expectation is constant and correlation function is a function of time difference. Similarly, for y of t, expectation of y of t is constant and r y y of t comma t plus tau is a function of time difference and their joint 
that means r x y which is called the this is cross correlation function is a cross correlation where r x x is auto correlation because since it is called auto correlation means correlation between two random variables defined on the same random process but here r x y of t comma t plus tau is expected value of x of t into y of t plus tau that means two random variables are on different process that's why it, this function is called a cross correlation function r x y of t comma t1 comma t2 which is expected value of x of t1 into y of t2 if this function cross correlation function is a function of time difference that is t2 minus t1 so then x of t and y of t are said to be jointly wide sense stationary these two process are called that means for two process to be jointly wide sense stationary each process is to be individually wide sense stationary and in addition to those conditions the cross correlation function that is r x y of t1 comma t2 must be a function of time difference tau that means totally five conditions has to be satisfied for x of t and y of t are to be jointly wide sense stationary similarly ergodicity for ergodicity x of t and y of t two process are jointly ergodic if they are individually ergodic process that is x of t and y of t are ergodic and their time cross correlation function just to differentiate the statistical and time correlation functions write the r the capital r for statistical auto correlation and time just yes, differentiate the time correlation function time cross correlation function that is r x y of tau which is defined as limit t tends to infinity 1 by 2 t integral minus t to t x of t into y of t plus tau if it is equals to statistical uh, cross correlation function where it is defined like this so each process has to be individually ergodic in addition to this their time cross correlation function is equals to the statistical cross correlation function then the two random process x of t and y of t are said to be jointly ergodic so this is the condition for two random process to be jointly wide sense stationary and jointly ergodic random process